Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you a project I've been working on pretty much since June began. Um, I follow Nicole911 on YouTube and she always does a really great job at showing um, the Hip Kit Club's monthly kits and so she had just started showing her um, June, excuse me, her May kit from uh, Hip Kit Club and I really, really liked the products that were in it and she had just started showing it at the beginning of June. So I used another creative project that I enjoy working on which is iCAD, Index Card a Day, <coughs> to create some supplies to do kind of a counterfeit kit of the May Hip, the May Hip Kit Club's uh, May Kit. So, using that as my basis, I made a really huge kit, which I'm going to be using for quite some time because it's quite huge. And I'm going to be um, making some scrapbooking layouts and Project Life pages and things like that for my 2015 album. There is a Dear Lizzie booklet in the one of the various kits. I'm not sure which one it was in. I just kind of combined them all and went with those ideas. And it's by Dear Lizzie and it's a washi tape book. It came with like 30 different washi tape strips. So using index card a day and an index card, I made up some of these using my collection of washi tape just to kind of limit what all I'm going to be using with this kit. This one's really bright. And then this is going to be cut up for some labels because there were quite a few um, labels that were in the kit. And then there was a pack of Citrus Bliss Pink Paisley stickers and chipboard accents and stuff like that that had um, frames. So I hand drew this little Polaroid frame and then used some of my stamps to do some words and some flag pendants that I'll cut out. Here's a Dear Lizzie Polaroid stamp that I used. And then there was also um, an Amy Tangerine stencil that had uh, two flowers on it. So I used some flower stamps there. And that's another one of those Polaroid Dear Lizzie stamps that I just stamped on some acrylic paint. And I have this flower stamp. I'm really not very good at stamping, and I hate doing it directly on my layout because I always screw it up. So I like to test it first because, see, this one would have screwed up my layout. Anyway, this was to kind of make up for those two Amy Tangerine flower stencils. And then I also did it in purple. And then this one, and I really don't know if I'm recording upside down. I'm probably recording upside down. You'll have to bear with me. This is the first time taking video in our new place with the new camera, so it's going to be a learning process. They had a pack of, I believe it was Evilicious puffy stickers in the kit, so I just drew some shapes that were similar to those and then stamped in them, and then I will cut them out. And then there were a lot of circles in the kit, and I had this really cool, I don't know where I put it right now, um, circle stamp. It's actually got like a, some kind of Asian symbol here. I just didn't ink it. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to cut those circles out. That's another strip of the washi tape. I was just playing with the colors. And then another one of those Dear Lizzie Polaroid frames. And then here's more circles that I intend to cut out. This is actually a Heidi Swap stencil that I use Distress uh, Stains on and a Q-tip. And then I'll just cut the circles out. This is another one of those acrylic paint and then stamping. 
the color add-on had um, yellow, green, and blue in it, so when I went messy, I tried to stick to those colors. And then some more circle embellishments that I will cut out. And then there was a lot of um, words in the kit. Like there was some enamel words and stuff like that. So I used that Amy Tangerine stitching stem stencil to make smile out of some gold embroidery floss. I also used it to do some ampersands that I will cut out of this watercolor paper that I made. And the same with this. This was similar to one of those Amy Tangerine uh, templates that was, or stencils, excuse me, that was in the color add-on. And then there was kind of a coffee theme going on in the Project Life add-on. So I do have a set of coffee stamps, but no matter what I do, I can't get them to stamp very well. That's probably the best one. I'll probably just cut that one out and call it a day. And I just want to show you guys. This is a card I made, kind of like those other ones. And then this is some of the stuff that I've done with it. I've just cut out these shapes to go along with the kit. I made some labels as well. And then these are some more of those circles that I had cut out and punched out. My punch is a little bit smaller than that stamp. <clears throat> and I also tried some embossing with some gold embossing powder to get some more of that phrases and word art that was pretty heavy in the, oops, sorry, bump the camera, that was pretty heavy in the original kit. I also made this little flower with some stickles and some gold embossing powder. Just playing around. So let's get to paper, shall we? I have none of the paper that is in the original kit. I'm kind of on a spending freeze. So I'm trying to just use the things I have or things I can make. So first the cardstock. I've been scrapping this year in 8.5 by 11, so I just kind of stuck with that for my cardstock unless I already had, had it in 12 by 12. So this is like an aqua and a navy, and I put two sheets of both in, and then here's a green. I don't know why the camera's not focusing. Come on. Focus. Okay, well, it doesn't like that paper. We'll move on. There was two sheets of clear vellum in the kit with the cardstock, but I don't have clear vellum. And then there was also a pattern paper that had tone-on-tone -tone hearts, so I just figured I'd substitute this for both of them. It's a vellum, but it's also got pink and blue hearts. And then these are some of the papers I've made. There was one that had like a ledger, so I just took a notebook paper, used, what is it called? My brain just shut off. Gel medium on it, and then put a coat of gesso over it and just kind of splattered it with some of the inks that I've been using throughout the kit that I've made, my items. Then there was an ombre, an ombre polka dot in pink, so I kind of reproduced that. I, I don't know why my gesso keeps turning yellow, <coughs> but I just did the pink dots using a stamp pad and a q-tip, and then I gessoed up it. 
And then this is a gray and white polka dot. It had a little bit of ink transfer from the stencil because I don't clean my stencils very well. This one I'm really proud of. Uh, the original kit had like a, I think it might have been a gray background with white flowers on it or something along those lines. Well, I don't have white ink, so I used my black ink and a Lawn Fawn stamp set. And I just made my own floor background. And then I used the plastic packaging technique and some uh, pumice stone distress stain. And I just put it on there. And I really like how it turned out. I have this textured polka dot that I can go through and color to make it look like the I think it was white on black paper that's in the kit. The rest of this is just stuff that I had that I thought went well with the colors. So this is a Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm called Lucky Coin. Some 4x6 cards. And then on the back is hearts. This is October Afternoon Girl Talk Chatter. This really reminded me of that Prisma, Prismatic Alpha that was in the hip kit. <clears throat> and then I thought I could cut apart this one for the circles, kind of like the Citrus Bliss paper that's in the kit that has all those circles, which is where this idea came from as well, for those. And then the back is a aqua kind of graph. This is October Afternoon Sugar Sticks Cakewalk. And it's just like some elementary lined paper in green. And then this is the other side. But I thought that was kind of like the ledger. It was my closest ledger anyway, other than my notebook paper. Then there's a cut apart sheet. So I'm using this one from Imaginis. Imaginis. Welcome Spring. It's called Spring Journaling. And then on the back is some bright green leaves. This is Simple Stories Hugs and Kisses. And it's Devotion. And it's got little red hearts on there. And then I just really like this one. Again, because of all the words, word strips, and the enamel words, and that kind of thing that was in the kit, I thought this would be cute to cut apart. And use with that, and it's from Sweet Girl by Lori Whitlock. It's an Echo Park paper. This one's Blossom. So that is the paper I have. Oh, there's my my paper pads. Um, yeah, I went a little overboard. So I have this Heidi Swap one. It's actually for the for her memory planner. It doesn't really say anything else on it as far as a name, but it's really pretty paper. And I love that. So that's that one. And then I got this authentic um, Celebrate, and it went with the black and gray. There's some really cute black and gray papers in here. And then the aqua as well. I really like that stars. And then this is going to be my wood grain that is, yeah, I totally need the cute.
This is the wood grain that I'm going to be using since I didn't have one in the gray. And then these are other things I had in my stash that just kind of went with the colors here and there. And I hate to tear apart my 6x6 paper pads because then I don't know who to buy. So I just threw the whole thing in the kit. And then this is the only paper in this that I'm thinking about using, so that makes that look easy. And then I picked up these couple at Walmart that I thought would be cute. These are all like the cut apart cards. This is Hoot Nanny, that color box. And I just love that paper. That was adorable paper. See if I can find it again. I really like that one. That's like the flower that is that stencil in the kit, and the clouds are adorable. And I love that paper with the little rainbow. So I can see a lot of this one going on to these pages. And then I liked this one because it's got a lot of that navy. I have seven minutes left of battery. I don't know if we're going to make it. at that. That's all letters. That's cool. So yeah, that's my paper. Just real quick, I'm going to show you the stamps I've pulled to use in this kit, or I'm going to try to use. A lot of them I've already used to create embellishments. Here's that coffee stamp set. It's by TPC Studio. Hey, swap. There's the Dear Lizzie stamp set. There's that flower, Studio G. Most of them are Studio G. This is a Heidi swap as well. I don't know what happened to the packaging. And then that log fawn. And then I also use this one to make an embellishment. And that circle one, I don't know where it is. And then we move into embellishments. They had an awesome ephemera pack, along with other awesome cool things that I would love to buy, but I don't have the money for. So I'm going to be working on some Easter pictures, so I just threw these in. This is for those circles. I've got these things that don't really match totally the colors, but I still like them. I picked up this Heidi Swap Gold. Found these buttons. This is to replace that cork alpha, but still get the same texture. I still have some daily grind and a flare from two peas left. And then I just threw in some flowers. These are like enamel dots and gems. A rub on with butterflies. These label strips from Recollections. Some doilies, because I love doilies. This has a lot of those colors in it. And then for alphas, I've got just some of my used paint. I have a navy. I've got some word stickers from Studio Calico. Some more words. Some tabs. Some partially used black alphas. This one here I thought would also be good for the place the cork. Some black. stickers and these little tile ones. Okay, so my battery died and I thought it was charging and it wasn't. So that's that. Next time battery will be fully charged before starting the video. So just to finish up, these are the thickers that I pulled. They're just a gray. It's called Cherish. I have two packs of those. I have these jelly bean soup labels. They don't say what collection they're from, just memorable hexies. I have this jelly bean soup, Grandma's Lima Bean Soup cardstock stickers. I love this color 
of alpha and then it's also got a cute orange one and the word strips and all the cute circles there this is the authentic celebrate that goes with that six by six paper pad there is a party that I would like to scrap but I'll probably use it for like an everyday more than a birthday so I won't probably use the whole thing but we'll see what damage we can do to it and then I picked up these just from Walmart because um, I didn't have anything puffy and there were a bunch of puffy stickers so these are like black and white flowers and then these are fun summer and ice cream and cupcakes and there's even some lime slices and lemon slices I got two packages of those and then I found these cute enamel dots at Walmart as well that I thought would go well with the collection that I've put together here so then lastly I just have a small collection small <laughs> of mixed media stuff that I've been using My daughter just woke up, so we'll see if I can get through it this time. So I've got this Distressed Ink Peeled Paint that I've been using for green. Dusty Orchid for purple. Peacock Feather Stain. Pumice Stone Stain. Aged Mahogany. And then the Color Add-on Kit had two paint dabbers, so I've got a lime green and a yellow for that. I've got these two Heidi Swap Color Shines. This is Tinsel and Primrose. I used my watermark for doing the embossing. I have this Aqua American Craft, Black Minnow. This is another black, and then Rose Bud Minnow. Here's a couple more cards that I've made for the collection that I have in a different pile. And this is for Father's Day. Addie made that. My daughter made that for her dad. And there's another one of those. And I have this pack of stencils. This is the Amy Tangerine stencils that I used. Ow, that was my toe, little girl. Okay, so the last thing I have is my Project Life cards. I have this We Are Memory Keepers Albums Made Easy Snapshots, the 3 by 4 cards. which have a lot of those same colors in it. I have the snap cards from Homespun. I just have a selection of them pulled out here. I also have these snap stickers from family. I found these gold doilies. And then I've got some zoo cards from Project Life. And that is it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check back again, see what all I do with it.